five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, it's the Ramble. Yeah, we go until, uh, let's see here, midnight tonight on the east coast of the United States. And uh, I am Alex Bennett, your host, your humble and obedient host. And um, uh, I have nothing to talk about and I have no guest and I have nothing, so why don't I just say goodbye? Uh, let me see here. Uh, well, this is the last show of the year. We don't, uh, we don't do any more shows until, um, the 2nd of January. Well, most of us do shows starting the, well, Jack and I, we are the network now. Uh, although, uh, Damien is still part of the network, although he will be doing a Monday night program from 9 until 10, and I know he's kind of out there in this, um, uh, no man's land, uh, and I hope that you will take out some time and write it down, jot it down. We're going to make up some spots and stuff to, you know, talk about it and so on, so you know that he, where he's moved. But uh, if you would uh, be so kind as to participate in his program, uh, that would be a, a wonderful thing, okay? Uh, we certainly would like it, and... Uh, um, it's, um, you know, and what are we going to do in that, uh, in his normal time slot? Uh, nothing, at least for the time being, until we come up with something. If any, anybody want to do a show? Uh, we, we have room for a show. We have a half hour available. Actually, you can do a whole hour if you want to. Um, I sure would like to find somebody to do that. Well, I did something today. I, I'm... I'm nuts. You know, I I figure I'm coming to the end of my life, okay? Well, at 80, there are less years ahead of you than there are before you, all right? I'm not going to live to be another 80 years. I would like to, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, girlfriend keeps saying she wants to go early. She wants to go soon. She's not going to commit suicide or anything, but she just wants to go. I, I want to live forever, all right? Anyway, because I have this great fear of death. I'm, I, I've got to have some coffee. I am so tired tonight. I don't know why. Mm. Anyway, so I figure I've only got to, you know, how much time do I have? So, I, you know, I, I always like buying toys for myself. So I couldn't think of any toy that I really wanted. I mean, what do I want? Look at this. Look at this studio here. I wish I could show it to you. Actually, I can probably show it to you if I, if I just turn this on. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. If you're watching the program, if you're not watching the program, well, then you're in, tr you're in a lot of trouble. But uh, um, let, me, let me see if I can show you the studio here. Let me go here. See if it comes up. Does it? Does it come up? Oh. Uh, I, where, where is the, uh, hmm, it's not coming up. Hmm. Oh, well, I, I was going to, I was going to show you. Oh, there we go. Well, that's okay. So that should be all right. That should come through, but it doesn't. Hmm. See, if I do this, no, there's nothing there. Hmm. That's funny because when I, uh, when I, um, oh, I, I know what I can do. I'll tell you what I'll do. I just I wanted to show you the rest of the uh, the studio here, but uh, now it won't let me. So, what the hell? Uh, let me let me let me do away with this. Let me go. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. I'll try that. All right. Huh? No. No. Huh? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I know what. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Anyway. This is uh, this is the studio, okay, uh, and because uh, I have another. This is my iPhone that's doing this. Oh, what what's this? Oh, come on, stop already! I don't want. Oh, there we go. Okay, wait a minute. 
It should start going again in a second. There we go. All right. So this is the this is the studio. Okay, over there. That's Marjorie's camera or, or machine on the very end, and that is the uh, that is the uh, what we have that we call the server. That's where all the programs on the twenty four seven are sent, and then this is where like the music is played. Uh, you know, I just have to like click here on oh say something like this, and then you get. Gabnet needs you. Thing. Yes. Thing. And then uh, we have uh, our main screen. That's This is where we actually do all the uh, editing and things like that. All right? Okay. And uh, there's, there's little me. There's a picture of me taking a picture of me. And then I have this other screen. So, and then I've got this thing. This, this, is, this is what switches everything. Okay. Like, if I want to switch back to me, I just go do that, see? Right? And there we are. All right? So uh, let me see here. Let me go back to the thing. And, uh, you know, I have a TV set over there. And then we have all our toys up there, all little. And uh, there. That's, uh, that's our studio, okay? So, um, and, and, but now I'm doing this out of a, uh, out of a new iPhone. Let me, let me do something here. How do I turn this around? There we go. Here we go. Come on. Do it. There we go. There's me. Ah, see? There's me. All right? Uh, so anyway, uh, that's, that's what I have. So I, I have all my little, my little toys. All right. So I, I guess I, I'm one of these people... Uh, that uh, that has said for years and years and years that he who dies with the most toys wins, okay? And um, so today, I don't know why I did this. I went over to AT&T and I bought a new phone. It's just like the other one. It's just like the last one. There's no difference between this phone. Hold on a second. This phone uh, and and all the other phones. So... Uh, the, the, the last one I got, except that this is the iPhone Pro 11, all right? And uh, here's the difference. There we go. See the, can see, the, see the lenses there? See how different they are? Oh, there's a reflection coming. But anyway, uh, the, it, it's got three lenses in it, and it's got a very wide-angle lens. And I like that, because that'll work good when I'm doing videos of vacations, which I never take. So I had to get this. So what I did is I put 500 bucks out and then put the rest on their payment plan that they have, you know, at AT&T. So that my payments on this, after the $500, comes out to $28 a month. So I've got the newest phone, and it is faster, by the way. I, I notice that when I sign it on and I have it do my face recognition, much faster. And it's just, though, overall, it's a much faster uh, uh, phone. But, you know, it really, Apple's run out of ideas, so they just put whatever they could into the, into the, uh, uh, in, into the f uh, camera, okay, and into the picture taking, because they don't say, oh, you know, all of a sudden things are wonderful and we've got better sound now for you. And uh, the guy said, well, you know, in another year, they're coming out with the 5G. And I'm going, you know, this is like 5GE. This isn't kind of 5G yet, but it's pretty, pretty good. You know, I mean, I don't think I need 5G. You know, what for? F faster what? Okay. So anyway, uh, um, so I'm, I'm happy with it. And I was going to get the Max, which is the bigger one, but the guy actually at the store talked me out of it. He said, I have a friend who has it, and it, it, the, fi the, the, the Max is bigger, but it's also heavier. And he said, my friend said he can actually, when he puts it up to his head, he, his arm gets tired because it's so heavy. So it has slightly better battery length and so on and so forth, but... Uh, I think this has this has a new battery in it that uh, is supposedly better than the last battery. Well, I just had to buy it. Now I have buyer's remorse. Now I'll tell you, what, I never got buyer's remorse off of. I've never had buyer's remorse off of this watch. I love the Apple Watch. 
Never buyer's remorse on that. Best 600 bucks I ever spent. All right? Okay. So, anyway. Uh, what? It, uh, I could get really weird if he has some ghost hunting equipment. What? What does that mean, Ryan? I don't know what these people mean when they write stuff like that. Anyway, so uh, so today I uh, I had to go to my doctor to go get this this pre authorization thing where the, he gives me he draws blood out of my arm and he takes an electrocardiogram and then he uh, gets all that information and sends it to my doctor and says bless you he is okay to put under sedation and I finally I said to my doctor I said you know this is the second time I have had to do this I had to do this once before. When I thought I was going to get the um, uh, the um, uh, biopsy, and the guy was going to put me under, uh, and um, so I had to go get this before. But it's only good for thirty days, okay? So I had to do it again. And I finally said to my doctor, I said, "Tell me, is this really needed, or is this all for insurance purposes?" He says, "Oh, it's definitely just for insurance purposes." And I'm thinking about this, and my health insurance is paying for somebody to do something to in make uh, to ensure uh, that the 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 uh, people who are going to sedate me if I die won't get sued, or if they get sued, they're covered. And I, they can blame somebody else. They can blame the doctor or whatever. He said, "Yeah, it's just it's all it's all legal stuff." He said, "There's no reason why I need to give you this." I mean. You know, you're in perfectly good shape. And, you know, the thing is, if you're going to die from sedation, you're going to die from sedation, whether you've got been okayed for it or not. How many guys, I remember Jack Berry. Do you remember Jack Berry? Jack Berry was a game show host who also created games. He did. He was the host of 21, the big uh, show that uh, they made a big deal out of it. The um, talk, uh, the game show scandals back in the, what was it? Was it the sixties or fifties actually? And uh, and he also did the Joker's Wild and so on. You know, Jack Berry. It, it doesn't matter if you don't know who he is, but he went to his doctor for his yearly checkup, and they put him on a treadmill, right, to see how his heart was. And he did the treadmill, and they proclaimed him in perfect, wonderful, beautiful health and he walks out of the doctor's office and falls dead right on 57th street i think it was right across from the park or maybe he was even walking through the park so you know no matter what they do i mean they can give me a test right now and say he, he's not going to die from the uh, he's, he's in fine shape he can take the uh, the being put out he can take the propofol michael jackson couldn't but he can and, uh, you know, they just, so they, they, they sue you, you know, but anyway. So, but I, I got, I got uh, went to the doctor, and then I got the phone. I don't know why I bought the phone. I just, I just, I don't know. I just felt I owed myself some kind of a toy for all I'm going through. And, uh, uh, and now, now comes the worst part of the year for me. Um, girlfriend. Um, says, okay, l we give each other a $300 limit on something we want or whatever. And, I, you know, I, I can't, it, it, if I spend $300, I don't know what to spend money on her for. I mean, I, I, w once I ran out of most of the electronic gear, like she liked cameras and things like that, uh, I think I bought her an iPad one year, something like that, I've run out of ideas. I just, you know, I do the, the, the stupidest thing in the world. I get, put, get an envelope, I put 300 bucks in it, and I say, have fun. Anyway, that's our, uh, that's our whole thing for Christmas. Yeah, so. I'll be home for Christmas, just you wait and see. Hmm. Anyway, and then I got—I just remembered I got to go get money to go tip everybody. Yeah, it's tipping time. 
I got to tip the uh, the uh, super. I got to tip the super's people. Uh, it's it's you know I I I don't know. So anyway. Um. Uh, that, 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 that's it. That's it. You know. I'm, uh, other than that, my life is a is a is a bloody bore. So now I will. I got the okay to be anesthetized, but under. So now the guy can go up my ass and put in three little pieces of gold in my prostate. Why? Because they're mining in there. No, it's it's a something for the the this this big thing that radiates and you know moves around has to know exactly where my prostate is or something so they use these points as uh, I don't know so uh, so I so he's got to put that in there and while he's there he I t said last night he's got to put some kind of thing in there I think they use a gel now they used to use a balloon believe it or not but now it's a gel to uh, um, separate uh, my uh, bowel from my from my prostate so that it doesn't get radiated. So, yeah. so and and uh, again, I had to go through this whole thing today, and the insurance company is going to have to pay for it uh, because the insurance company, the doctors, don't want their insurance companies to get it. Ah, oh, it's just hey, stop, everybody, stop suing doctors. Okay, it's just getting to be ridiculous. So you have to go through this extra stuff now, and uh, yeah. Now a lot of people, I want, I want to, I want to talk to you for a moment. A lot of you are probably saying, Alex, every time we tune in, you're talking about doctors and illness and so on. I got news for you. At my age, you get any group of people together our age, and you have dinner, and after you've gotten through saying, "How you doing? I'm doing fine. How, how the, how the, how the grandchildren? Yeah, the grandchildren are fine." Yeah. The topic always turns to how's your health, okay? And we got we got some we got some friends with some problems, you know. Uh, I mean, so it's it's uh, it's always, it always turns to that discussion, and it's it's ridiculous and it's weird and it's something that I, quite frankly, don't like to talk about. But it's the only thing in my life right now. What have I got to talk about? I've, uh, all I've got to talk about is, well, I'm going to the doctor to go get my self radiated, you know. So anyway, excuse me if I talk about things like that. I could talk about Trump, but that's a whole different deal, you know. Uh, and I, I am, uh, I don't talk much about Trump anymore, mainly because it just depresses me too much and. On another level, it bores me too much. Is it, now, Alex, how, how can that bore you? It's a very important uh, thing, Alex. Uh, and I go, yeah, so, you know, I mean, uh, I'm bored with it. I am just bored to death with it because nobody does anything, really. I mean, oh, hey, we impeached him. We know how that's going to go. So you impeached him. So the next thing is he's going to have a trial in the Senate and a bunch of Republicans are going to fall into lockstep and they're going to, no, you know, uh, it would be nice if between now and the trial in the Senate something really horrible happened and there were some Republican senators who felt they couldn't vote for acquittal. Uh, but they can't because they're a bunch of immoral, immoral assholes. But you see, then I start thinking about that and it irritates me and it bothers me. You know, and I've got other things to worry about, like my health. And by the way, my whole health thing will predominate what I talk about probably for the next two months. And then it's all over with, at least for the time being, unless it comes back, which chances are it won't. Chances are it won't, and um, I'll be just fine. Okay, so that's, uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But I mean, really, what do we, what do we, what do we do? So, uh, so it's either it's either either talk about my health or talk about Trump, or talk about my new phone, which I now have buyer's remorse for getting. But it is faster and it is nicer, and it had one thing. Here's one thing that really bothered me about it. This is meme technology. If I go here, 
Oh, there's AT. It says you can't really see it. I mean, I, I, I yeah, yes, you can. Right there. See, it says AT and T. Right, right, uh, right there. It says AT and T. You see, there are two little. Uh, oh, excuse me. I've got a. Oh, come on, go back on. It, it, it's got two little dots under it. Well, the thing was when I when I pushed uh, this thing down so I could take a look at the. A, a, a lot of different stuff. There's the AT and T again, but you notice under it it says uh, another thing, and then no service. And I wondered what that was because it, you know I wasn't was I not getting some kind of service I should be getting. So I called the guy who I've been bothering all day where I bought the phone, and I said, "What's that about?" And he says, "Oh, well, that see this wasn't on my other phone." He said this thing has a slot for two SIM cards. So you can have two different phone numbers on this one phone. And what that is, is the other SIM slot, which isn't filled. So it's just telling you that it's not. That's how long it's been since I got a new phone. It's only been in a year and a half, but they've changed enough that now you can get them where... where and this is really good for like people who travel to other countries. And they want to have like a phone number in another country so that they don't, you know, have to spend a lot of money calling around in that country when they're there. Uh, and um, so they put, they, they have put, you can put another SIM card in there for like if you live in England part of the time for England. And then it doesn't cost you any money really extra to use it because that's, you just tell it which SIM card you want to use in what country you're in. So, uh, like Marjorie has an office, and she has people in her office who uh, travel to China a lot, and uh, they are back here a lot, and they need to be able to use their phones in both countries. And, and before, they've been carrying around two different phones, one for China and one for here, and now they can do it all in one phone. So that's nice. I when I bought this new phone, that's what I got with it. But I'll never ever use it. I never have a. The guy said to me, "If you want a second phone number, I can give it to you." And I went, "No, thanks. No, I don't need it. What do I need a second phone number for? It so that it will take a while for all the telemarketers to find me? Yeah, nah, nah." Mm -mm. Anyway, it's getting to be that time. Let me. Uh, now, because I must be, I must be boring you. Oh, well, there's a lot of people watching. Yeah, what the hell? Let me see here. Where are we? I gotta find the. Uh, yeah, there's Skype. I, every now and then I, I can't find Skype. It's taking a little longer than. Oh, it popped up fast this time. Last night it was having some kind of problem. I don't know what it was. Oh, there we go. That's the sound of all the people that were calling uh, over to the uh, over to Damien's show. By the way, I'm going to say again, Damien's going to be on Monday nights, 9 o'clock, for a full hour, and you goddamn well better call him, okay? Because uh, he's good, and he deserves your, your support, as it were. And I think that he, he's a real talent. I, I feel bad that he's going off uh, four nights a week, you know? But he just felt he needed more time to do other stuff and so on, and... That's okay, you know. So, uh, you know, anybody want a show? We're giving away a show. <laughs> we're giving away a time slot. Anyway, uh, but uh, we're going to miss you, Damien. I mean, as, as a regular, uh, just before me, you know, every night I will have to go on cold and people are going to have to find me, all right? Anyway, let me see here. Here comes Charlie Wallace. Uh, he's, he's calling in right now. And I'm sure as soon as his, uh, oh, and here comes Josh Wheeler. Uh, he's calling. Let's see here. Let's uh, let's go take Josh. And uh, let me see here. Uh, there's there's Charlie. Let me go uh, take Josh. And um, there's Phil Meyer. Oh boy. Let me see here. Where was Phil last night? Was he down there in number three spot? Um, uh, well, let me see here. Let me go to number one and go to Josh Wheeler. Hey man, I don't, oh boy, oh uh, wait a minute, hold on a second. There's Phil. Okay, um, Charlie, your your camera is an on or something. And Josh, well, I was number two. 
Huh? Yeah. And Josh, your camera is not on. There we go. Okay, now I can go there find you. Go. If you're if if it isn't on, I well, wait a minute. Wait, what is what is this? Wait a minute. Hold on. Cancel. Now let me try this again. See if we. Oh, there we go. Now we have there's a, there's a Josh. Okay, we'll put him in the one spot. Okay, Josh, are you there? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. There he is. All right. Now we do this, and now everybody's there. That's our. That's the beginning of a of a of a citizen panel. How are you all tonight, gentlemen? Doing good. What are you being a mime tonight, Phil? Oh no, I was letting other people talk first. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> oh, boy. So anyway, um, I'm tired. My eyes are burning. I. My nose is dripping. I I think I need two weeks off or a week and a half off or whatever we're taking off here. Uh, yes. Are you going to uh, have a segment where you start singing show tunes? Uh, Why? You know. Why? Instead of Trump, you know, just uh, you know, West Side Story stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Maria. I don't think so. Um, but but uh, um, um, I don't know. I'm trying to decide whether I want to do a show on Christmas Eve here. Yeah. It'll be a pop up. It'll be a pop up. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? Uh, what's this crap? Apple wants to bypass mobile carriers. Now, you just bought a new phone. Yeah. Uh, are they going to obsolete it? Uh, you know? Well, how are they going to bypass mobile carriers? Well, that means I have to click on the headline. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> it. it Wait a uh, they're going to beam internet data directly to iPhones via satellites. Oh, great. So look out for Verizon, AT&T, and any other carrier out there. <laughs> Apple is working on a way to bypass carriers. Yeah, but you want to know something to begin with? Fuck Apple. Uh, let me say that to start off with. Well, didn't they just get $1,100 out of you? I'll tell you. I'll t yeah, they just got eleven. Well, they got 500 out of me, and the rest is on their plan, you know. Uh, so you're on the hook for 11 Well, I g yeah, I gave them five, and I'm, uh, yeah. But I have a plan where after a year and a half, I can uh, get a new one and, and not have to pay the balance of the money on the old one. So. Yeah. I decided that they're, that they're not going to fuck me anymore. I'm not buying another phone until this one obsoletes out. Uh, this is going to be the last one I will ever own. I'll tell you yeah. that right now. I, you know, I didn't even know why I bought it. It's just I yeah. felt I, I just felt I needed I owed myself something. OK. Yeah. But um, um, here's the thing. They're going to use satellites, huh? Well, that's what they're saying. Well, that, I'm going to uh, tell you something. Yeah, how many here? Any of you that's their secret team of engineers specialized in aerospace, yeah. satellites, antenna design is working on the project. Mm -hmm. well, so, okay, uh, let, me, let, me, let me say this. Uh, uh, any of you guys uh, have uh, uh, satellite radio? I've used I them. Uh, oh, not satellite. I've used a satellite phone. No, but uh, do you have satellite radio? You mean like uh, Sirius? Yeah. Yeah, I have it in the car, mm -hmm. and then I have their app on the mm -hmm. on the phone. You have it. You have. Uh, you have. Uh, anybody else have it? I, still I had it for two or three years. I don't have yeah. any. When they fired you, I got yeah. rid of it. Phil, uh, did you uh, did you ever try going up to upstate? California, where the redwoods are, and try and pick up Sirius satellite you radio. Can't. You, you, you can't. You can't. Uh, I, I can't drive past tall buildings and pick up Sirius satellite. Well, uh, what is what? What do these people at Apple think they're going to do? Come up with a better idea? Hmm. You know, all these all these people like AT and T have built all these cell state towers, and they've got enough of them now that you pretty well you never lose a signal anymore. You know, right. you have to go pretty well out into the hinterlands yeah. to lose a signal because there are no cells. Do you think that they'll uh, have a, a way of switching between uh, the satellite and some sort of more conventional pr uh, plan? Well, that's exactly what Sirius Satellite had to do in New York. Do you know that if you have Sirius Satellite radio in New York, you're not really listening to a satellite. You're listening to a ground station. Yeah. Uh, and, I, uh, and I said to them one day, I said, oh, you're doing radio, huh? You know, 
Well, uh, you know, I have the Sirius satellite on the phone. There's an app. I guess it comes with my five dollar a month uh, mm -hmm. uh, deal, yeah. and so sometimes I'm in the office and I'll just put the phone on the on my desk and I'll listen to the radio or, or I'll listen to you know some program, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like the news. Yeah, yeah. Try take try taking that up into the uh, up into the Sierra again. You're not going to be able to get the cell service up there. You know? No, but I can get on. You're not going to be able five. to get the internet service, rather. You know. No, but I can go on Highway Five. All I'm saying is, it's a stupid idea. You know, you've got the you've got the the cell cells in place. Also, you got the 5G coming up, so I mean, the throughput's going to be better almost than any satellite. So what? What? You know. Well, uh, let's see. They're creating their own data delivery system. And it can give customers a more uniform experience across its devices, as well as create other reoccurring subscription-based revenue source. Yeah, it's a new way to make money. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know they're not going to say, "Hey, you know, you've got the Apple phone. We're going to give you the satellite uh, mobile service for free." Nah, mm -hmm. nah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's nothing and you're going to hear out of the, those motherfuckers. Yeah, and there's another article here. Trump wants Apple to help build America's 5G network. So, what do you mean uh, they, they've already built? They're already building a 5G network. Well, I guess uh, that's an, uh, an article that your boy that, Trump that, doesn't the know thing. the first thing about technology. He should shut his fucking jaw. He uses Twitter pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> my question is, my question is, and I have. Uh, do, do you think he writes all that stuff, or do you think he dictates yeah, it to question. somebody? I think he dictates it. Yeah. yeah. Although I'll tell you, that. the spelling is so bad. I'm beginning to think that he actually okay, writes well, it let, himself. Let, let me ask Tony something. Tony, when you write all those incessant uh, uh, messages to me and everybody else in the, yeah. in the Western world, yeah. do you yes. dictate it or do you type it? Actually, I do type fast, or I do make grammatical errors. It's not a it, so I don't, I don't like typing on the phone. Uh, so can, when uh, people uh, message me, I do like to. Yeah. I hate sending messages, but I usually want to send it right back to them, mm -hmm. like if they ask me a question. Uh, so, yeah. so I make mistakes because it's not like you're sitting in front of like actually get your right because you know how your finger hits something wrong. It's it's a phone. You really can't sit down. Yeah, that's what I tried. That's fit, that's, hit, that's hit what wrong, I tried. I just don't spell it right. That's what I tried to tell her. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, you got a different yeah. story, yeah. Well, I mean, oh, 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 yeah, really? You, yeah, no. you, you, really? Uh, Do you think he was AT and T man? Huh? AT and T man. Why is J Why is Jason dressed? Yeah, that's the Joker, right? Uh, have you seen the Joker movie yet? No, I have it sitting here waiting for me to watch it. On uh, for you're my, you're gonna love it, Alex. It's one of my SAG. Films. Oh, got the movie? That's a really good movie. Yeah, yeah, I got, yeah. I got it from SAG, and uh, you know, um, yeah. So, but you know what, Alex? I could see, like you said, I could see Trump like an incestual child typing like that, like a madman. Like and really, it, what, just what did you call him? Him? What child? Like he's just That's like one, one of those. I, heard of I think the, I think he was going for the word petulant, but somehow That's it didn't true, come out yeah. that way. <laughs> but Alex, you could see him blowing a fit, like like flying off the handle. Oh, he's a petulant child. There's no question about it. Now we can say nasty things about him. Phil's left the room. Hey, Alex, did you see the uh, what's that Christian magazine? They want him uh, out. Yeah. Yep. I yeah. was. My brother sent me the link to it. He and then he said he's that. Uh, they're yeah. turning against him. They're, they're slowly leaving him. How can how can you say? Well, I I think that that Christian magazine is probably. A Christian magazine, because uh, you know, obviously, he doesn't engender Christian values. There's no question about that. You know that that magazine. Oh, here we uh, go. Oh, here we go. Here uh, we go. Yeah, the, uh, the guy's a maniac. Uh, is it Billy Graham? Uh, Franklin Graham yeah. is the owner of the magazine, mm -hmm. okay. but uh, he didn't agree with the editorial. That uh, the people from yeah, the well, magazine fuck Franklin did. Graham. He's a guy who's been who ripping people off for years by selling them the <laughs> promise of something they're never going to get. Yeah, well, uh, 
that he's the son of Billy Graham. Yes, he's the son of and Billy Graham. Billy Graham was enough of an asshole. This right. guy takes what? the cake. He's how, how many mistakes has this guy made over the years? Well, uh, the the thing is that magazine is, uh, I think it was his, but he doesn't agree with the uh, editorial staff, and he still supports Trump. Says his father did too, uh, and that his father. Oh yeah, go for speak Trump. for your father. He probably didn't have a think uh, think anything uh, about Trump. It, Who, Billy Graham? Yeah, what, 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 Trump didn't come he, into He was his... always kissing every president uh, from uh, Franklin Roosevelt to you name it. Yeah, but but he was dead before Trump became president, yeah. Phil. No, well, Franklin Graham said that he voted for Trump. He, did he? Well, somebody look it up quickly. Well, when, what when, year did Billy when, Graham when, die? Well, what, well, well, hold on a second. Um, e Echo, when did Billy Graham die? Oh, that's, that's a good question because he's dead, right? February 21st, now, now you, wait a minute. Now you say I couldn't hear it because you were you were talking. Don't talk. He's gone. Oh. Echo. When did? Oh, here here it goes. Oh, he died uh, February twenty eighth, twenty first, two thousand eighteen. Hmm. All right. So anyway, uh, I heard on an interview today, uh, yeah. Franklin Graham, and uh, I don't remember who interviewed him, but. Uh, Basically, uh, he didn't agree with that editorial. So it, it, there, it's a chink in the armor. Yes, there are. Oh, he said chink. Yeah, he, he just said chink. Hey, I had, are you mom, getting hungry? Uh, uh, I, had it for, I had it for dinner, actually, with my mom. Yeah. Too Would many carbs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, but, uh, um, yeah, I, I thought he was dead a while ago. I guess he just he looked, looked like he, he looked, looked that a while way. ago. You know, he, when you looked at him, he, maybe you, you know it was like my weekend with Bernie. And, and I bet he, I, I bet he was too out of it to vote for Trump. I think somebody probably just put his finger on the button or whatever. You know. Yeah, he voted absentee. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to vote absentee now. You know. Yeah. Well, you know, my my girlfriend, when uh, when it's time to vote, we vote absentee, and I just take. She says, "Okay, take both ballots," and uh, I fill out one, and then I copy it over to hers. Yeah. Yeah. She uh, signs it, and we drop them off or send them in. Well, this is our last program of the year, um, and uh, uh, I don't foresee. The, I, I foresee us coming back. After the first of the year, without any problems, I may take be taking some time off, depending upon the needs of you know how how exhausted I get from this uh, this pill they're giving me. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. You know, I, I've got to say that you have been a lifetime. Uh, uh, what what is it? Uh, not kleptomaniac. Uh, you've been a lifetime. Uh, 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 thinking you're sick old. Hypochondriac. 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 I, know, I couldn't remember the word. I mean, I'm getting old. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I am very, very impressed with the way you're handling this. Uh, you know, because now that you finally have a, a you real disease, have something. You're, 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 you're handling it like a, 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 you know, a real trooper. Well, and, I'm not, I don't uh, think I'm handling it like a trooper. I think that I'm very realistic about it. And, uh, it's nice to know that something can be done about it. Yeah, but you're not yeah. doing a woe as me. You're just doing what you need to do. Well, because and, because uh, I've been impressive. told by every doctor, including my doctor today, is just my, you know, my, uh, uh, what do you call it, my GP. He actually, he's a cardiac guy, but he uh, he said to me, he said, nah, he says, no big deal. He said, but what I, is yeah. this going to do for your hypochondriac status? I mean, you're going to lose that status mm -hmm. uh, that you've worked a lifetime to build. Uh, because you're handling well, this so well. I've been complaining with good cause. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, it's the way uh, I look clock, at what it. is a broken clock is right twice a day. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I just don't. I, I, I you know, uh, it, 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 the, the side effects are the only thing that I think I, I may uh, not be happy with. But uh, outside of that, uh, uh, you know, it's all doable. It's all fixable, and. Uh, it's a short course. I mean, I will be th through with the whole thing. If if they started it tomorrow, I'd be through within two months, with everything. And one of the what? one of the things has to wait about three or four weeks before I get into the seeds, and that takes an hour. Okay, yeah, they, and they then it's all over day. with, huh? 
Did they give you the start date? No, because they haven't. And my doctor hasn't gotten the the information back to them yet about uh, my. He has to send the blood that work back to them and all of that so that they can go ahead with it. Yeah. Yeah. So the seeds, they just, they stay in there forever? Uh, yeah. Or do they take them out? They stay in there forever, but they lose their radiation yeah. in about two months, I think. And then they sprout. And then they sprout, yeah. <laughs> no, but the seeds just stay there. They're the size of a grain of rice, they say, you know. And, uh... Um, and then this gel, the stuff they put in you to separate the rectum from the from the uh, prostate. Uh, rectum nearly killed them. That that's gone uh, after. Uh, well, it dissolves. It dissolves. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So you know. By the way, we're down to twenty two people now. What happened? I thought I had more earlier. I don't. Yeah, know. but you know what? I what? I stopped up. watching because I called. What? You're up like six subscribers. You're at eight twenty five. I know, I know. I'm. Yeah. I, I really would like to. If if you people don't subscribe to this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, because uh, if I can get up over a thousand, I can start making money off of YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. My friend Matt. I, I've I've forwarded you some of his things once in a while. He's got over six hundred thousand uh, YouTube followers. Yeah. yeah. Do you have some type of commercial says, now? Because not much money. When I originally oh. clicked onto GabNet and hit the play button, I got an Intel commercial. Uh, that was you were listening to the audio, right? Yeah. 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 For a second. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I t uh, 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 tune in. Uh, runs yeah. commercials before the program. Is that what it goes to when I hit yeah. the play button yeah. on your website? Yeah. Is to yeah. tune in. Yeah, okay. yeah, because if you notice, if you notice after the commercial, all of a sudden the program comes on in the middle of the program or whatever, you know, uh, that's been pretty recent. Uh, that was not the case mm -hmm. up until just recently, you know. So, well, now you're no longer a partner. Now you're uh, being used by them. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was a tune-in partner, and then they said you're no longer going to be a tune-in partner, and I went, well, fuck you. Fuck you. Do yeah. I need... Fuck you. Fuck me, <laughs> fuck you. Anyway. You've uh, been what? in New York too long. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so we don't have to do much of a show because there are not enough people listening to it. So... They'll listen tomorrow. We'll, we'll just sit here and, you know, relax. See, that's what you never talk about, the people who might download this on iTunes because that's the way I listen to you. You know, I listen to you every single day. I download the show well, from iTunes. Well, you know, and... there there is after... After a fashion, um, you know, uh, maybe between all the various outlets we have and everything, maybe about a thousand people a day listen to this, you know. Um, but it, it it's you know, whatever. <laughs> hey, you're quiet tonight, Josh. <laughs> Your mic isn't on, Josh. <laughs> it might be on. I, I think it's on. It, it is on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so I'm muted. Oh, there he is. There, there he is. And by the way, here comes. Uh, let me see here. Hey. Where, where is it? Uh, oh, there he is, Bob Q Kazoo, and that would of course be her nibs, <laughs> Kathleen, who had dinner with a friend tonight, right? Yep. Was it yummy? Yes. How? What? What did you have? Sushi. Ooh. Hey, we got one more person listening to us now since we talk, started talking. <laughs> uh, Maybe I'm they're still hoping showing twenty two. You, you had you had uh, sushi, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite kind of sushi? Any I don't, kind of sushi is good with me. Well, we used to get sushi, and I can't remember what you used to order. I uh, California roll, probably sashimi. Well, I yeah, love Cal. Who I does usually get California roll. Well, sashimi mm -hmm. isn't sushi. I know, but it doesn't have the sashimi. Carbs or the rice sashimi either. is right. sashimi. Yeah, don't worry. There's not enough rice in there to give you the carbs. Oh yeah. Hey, I, I had a couple of chips with this uh, diet meal that I had. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, I went from a 109 sugar to a 170. Uh, I got you know. Oh well, that's oh, yeah. You, yeah, you've got that whole <laughs> sugar thing going for you. But the fact is that I. Uh, you know, I haven't. I didn't go on the scale for a month because I was. What happened to everybody? Is everybody what there? Happened? Huh? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Oh, I, I, uh, He he lost a couple of Skype guys. No, so I'm losing. I'm losing. 
the video. Oh, there we go. It just pop, pop back in. I, I don't know what the problem is. Yeah. Anyway, uh, everybody um, is here on Skype. Um, so anyway, oh. uh, I I didn't weigh myself for maybe a month, maybe longer than that. So I just felt like I was getting fatter and fatter and fatter, and I got on the scale and I'd lost five pounds. So you know, you never know. Good. You never know. Yes, uh, yes, Jason. So here, here's my question, asking the older people around. So wait a minute, I'm can I do something 40. first? Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm hitting forty. Yeah. And I'm starting to lose weight. Uh, Is that yeah, that, that yeah, that's normal. Because that, I know normally you hit a certain age and it's hard to lose weight. And yeah. that's why I was wondering, my metabolism's changing. That's causing me to lose weight because I like uh, I don't really feel like I've really changed too much, and yeah. I've just been continuous. Like within this year, I think I've lost fifteen pounds. Well, get uh, tested. Let for me cancer. see here. There we go. <laughs> get tested for diabetes. There's uh, there's I'm Jeff. We, we've been joined, joined by guys, Jeff. I can't process the sugar. You feel I, I, I I don't eat really too many carbs. I still kind of keep the kind of you know Atkins ish diet. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it, the weekends yeah. I let it go, but I find that it, you find it goes up and down. I'm sorry. Go As you get older, really older, me older. It's harder to keep weight off, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, no, like my, slows. my grandma, though, she went from, you know, when before she passed, you know, like uh, probably 20 years, you know, before she passed, she started losing weight. And by the time she passed away, she was actually decent size. You know, she was she was pretty. It's hefty called for it's a, called a wasting bit. away, Jason. Yeah. Jason, uh, <laughs> uh, to figure out if you have any diabetic tendencies, mm -hmm. uh, there's a couple of things like your vision. Here, okay, here starts, comes here, uh, here comes Doctor Phil. Getting, he knows yeah, exactly. He knows. Your your vision starts hey, getting fucked up. To, uh, there's another thing is you, you feel very thirsty and you pee a lot. But, but see, having... I've been like that all my life. You know? I, I drink a lot of water. Why, I, why I do I go? Why do I go to a doctor? I can just have Phil tell me. Yeah, oh, he, what, he, what he's saying is I'll true. send you a bill, Alex. Take and take two aspirins. Well, That's to begin you with, uh, you're diabetic because of uh, I, I I it could bad be diet. It, bad diet probably. And I'm I overweight. I can see you calling him up and you hear him. He's online at McDonald's. What should I eat? Don't eat any fast food. I'll take a number two. You know, I went, I'll tell you, today I was, I, I was at the, uh, I was at the uh, phone store and he was setting up my phone and everything. And I got this incredible thirst. I mean, uh, I apparently, I think I'd had some ham for lunch or something and it was oh, making so me awesome. thirsty. So now uh, he says, well, just go across the street there, a couple of stores there and, they'll, you know, they have stuff, right? And I go over to him and I say, do you have any diet drinks? No. Do you have any diet drinks? No. Do you have any diet drinks? No. And I'm thinking, Bloomberg, what the fuck did you do? I thought you were getting rid of all those, <laughs> those things. I finally found a place where I could get myself a diet Snapple. And I'm going, this is why America is so fucking fat. It's because, you know, Jamba when Juice you, doesn't have a diet Jamba Juice. You know, when, when you have problems bad when you, you when you have problems with sugar, you mm. go and you look for places that have things food or anything else that doesn't have carbs, doesn't have sugar. You can't find it. I know. This whole the whole the world is full of shit like that. Mm -hmm. I, I was in Mexico once. And, uh, you know, I stopped into a couple of stores. I couldn't even get almonds. You know, yeah. I just I just wanted a handful of almonds or something for some protein. I was doing Atkins at the They're time. Almonds. There's an L. No, no, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying. Almonds, almonds. Uh, 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 <laughs> Did you almonds. you see that commercial where the guy jumps out of the car? <laughs> the, uh, the, the problem is, the problem is, is that, that uh, they keep pushing stuff with sugar in it. And you go, you know, why? I'm, and, and this one place was like a health fruit store. And I said, do you have anything that, you know, doesn't have sugar in it? No. Well, you know, we have or, or juices. That's because good. Because it's a health fruit store. No, but it's they fruit. say, sugar they, in they, it. but they act like that's good for you. And I don't care well, if it's even sugar fruit. sugar is. Pop no. isn't. <laughs> uh, well, you even got to be careful with real sugar. You know, when you're on the Atkins, you don't eat fruit. Uh, no, you know. but you know, if you're gonna have sugar, it's better to have fruit than it is to have a soda. Well, that is true. Yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. You know, and I will. I do fruit. You know. Yeah, you know, there was a guy I worked with, man. He drank uh, diet soda all the time, 
And he ended up getting hardened arteries from it because the, the pop, you know, the, what is it, the aspartame and the pop turns into formaldehyde and actually preserves your arteries. I have, heart- no, I have nothing wrong with my arteries. I, you know, I have a... Uh, oh. I have a You're lucky. Uh, well, no, I do have a, um, uh, a what do you call it? A uh, cancer aortic <laughs> a, aortic stenosis, oh. a thickening of my aorta. Oh. But mm-hmm. uh, my doctor, who is a cardiologist, gave me an echocardiogram, and he checks it every couple of years to see how it's grown. He says at this rate, you'll be 150 before it's a problem. You know, but. Uh, uh, you know, do you drink a lot of fruit, Kathleen? Nope. For the most part, I drink water. I do eat a lot of fruit, but I eat a lot of, uh, I also eat a lot of uh, vegetables, most of the time raw. I mean, my between my son and I, I probably mow through at least three pounds of tomatoes a week. And just myself alone, I probably down... I, I, I used of, to uh, I, celery. I, I used to pound through at least three tomatoes it's not a, a celery week. Celery cucumber. Oh, wow. I, I I I was juicing for a while, and I'll go back to juicing. Uh, I my sugar went down. I felt great. Uh, uh, what I this is by the way, by the way, in all the time that we've been doing the show, Phil has always had some kind of diet going for him, and everyone yeah. he swears by, and he never stays on any of them. It's really hard. To just drink juice five, six times a day, uh, seven drink, days yeah. a week. I did it for six days straight. Listen, I got news for you. You want to you know how to lose eat, weight? Eat, eat nothing but chocolate candy bars. I tried that. I mean, nothing else. <laughs> nothing else. Nothing else but just the candy bars, and you will lose weight. If you eat any one thing to the exclusion of any other, your body has to go to your fat. And get the stuff that's stored there and eat it up because it needs that. Uh, but mm-hmm. I, but I wouldn't suggest it because you're going to have a hell of a dental bill. Yeah, you know, I, I, think, I, think, I cook I think. from scratch. I buy nothing in a package. Right. Like today at work, they had me in the meat department. So on these pallets, we're throwing like 60, 70 pound boxes of meat or fish. And at one point, the manager pulled me off and I was like, oh God, what did I do wrong? She's all, no, girl, I pulled you off because you're throwing more than the guys around you. Wow. <laughs> she beat Phil up. Well, she beat you Phil. should throw the guys this around is why I. This is why I went with <laughs> her. Like this is why I went with her. When I needed a 300-pound <laughs> television set <laughs> taken, from, that was a funny taken from the truck upstairs to my apartment, she just picked it up and took it up there. Yeah. She could have picked you up with it. Oh, listen, she, you know. Oh, he was totally safe in my hands. There's no I don't way. know for a guy you who like. He used to tease me because I'd kind of walk a little bit behind him, and he'd kind of stop, and I'd catch up, and it, and at one, you know, sometimes he'd get frustrated, and it's just a bad habit. And I'd tell him, you know, when the first swing comes, I'm right behind, and I'm decking them before they even hit you. Yeah. But, he, you know, Alex was always a gentleman. It, 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 if I was walking on the street side, he'd gently take, put his hand on my waist, push me over, and he'd take street side. Oh, I always did that. I always did that. See, that just means he was a controlling man. He touched you and pushed you into your place. That's a me too complaint. I have seen right? No, I, I, uh, I always. My Such father taught Alex. me that is that you're supposed to walk on the outside when you're with a woman. Uh, it comes from the old days when it was like horses would drive, come by and splash, splash yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And then I found out in England you're supposed to walk on the other side because people used to dump water out of their windows. And you're <laughs> supposed to protect the woman that way. It wasn't just the water they dumped. But I, to this day, <laughs> I always have to, and Marjorie will tell you, I always walk on the outside, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, it was just a thing with me. I uh, thought you walked on the wild side. Yeah. But uh, no, she she was you know she was uh, it was great to have a she was a bodyguard. She was everything. She, she, you were. Yeah, I remember Rocky. Oh, you Rocky, my bodyguard. Yeah, he was a real a hole. I swear, you know your last, um, you know, your last performance mm-hmm. live. He yeah. was convinced. He was trying to convince me to join him to be a bodyguard, and I was like. So you're saying Alex is Whitney Houston? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> well, I had I was uh, to deck him. Yeah, I had a bodyguard when I used to be a big shot, uh, and it wasn't for. There were two reasons. It wasn't for anything egotistical. Cash gate. But I did run into a couple of situations eventually when I was doing shows in which I was presented with a certain amount of danger. Okay? Yeah. And so we had a guy who, when I won, I wanted to be able to shake people's hands and to talk to the public and to be out there with the public. And so I got this guy who he didn't really look like a bodyguard. He was lethal. He had a gun on him. Yeah. Uh, but but he would walk in back of me, but he would walk at enough of a distance that nobody perceived that I had a, a bodyguard. But if somebody were to then suddenly start assaulting me or becoming too in my face, he was right there, okay? Because his theory was, and it was right, people who have bodyguards, you know how these rappers have bodyguards and these big, fat, heavy people and all yeah. that? yeah. Uh, he said, if you're a bodyguard who looks like that, you're asking for trouble. Yep. You know, but if you don't look like you have a bodyguard, you're not asking for trouble. So that's what we, that's what we did. He also, when we did the shows and we had a lot of cash at the end of these shows because people would pay for their tickets with cash in those days, uh, he would take the money to the bank and he had the gun with him and everything. So he, nobody was going to hold him up, you know. So, yeah. You know, I'm doing bodyguard work at Temple's. Uh, matter of fact, last Sunday's training, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we had 15 guys with guns in a synagogue, uh, and uh, we we took over the whole synagogue to do a, a lifelike training where, uh, you know, we controlled the crowds, we moved people away from active shooters, uh, and uh, it was very interesting. I should have taken a picture because you had all of these well, guys. Well, pardon me. Uh, let me just ask you a question. They, yeah. I, I, is there a prayer over the 45? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure there is. It's, it's kind of like the one for the bread, but you just, you know, put butter it, yeah, on it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was interesting. Not like the synagogues I used to go to. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah. guns. I don't want no guns. And, they, and they, these guys are orthodox and we had two rabbis you know with the beards and and the payas and the and the whole thing yeah. and the hat yeah. and uh you know and it was 15 of us it, yeah they're they're irritating little motherfuckers those guys well now they're armed the 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 the, <laughs> the, 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 the hasidim as we call them here in new york you, you know these for a yeah. fact right jeff yeah, rockland county they're they're uh, they're annoying they're 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 not nice people you know, uh, and in well, yeah, and in the Diamond guys, District, in the Diamond District, they kill each other. Well, you know, I had a friend that worked in the Diamond District, and he lived in Scarborough, which is near Briarcliff Manor. So you have a friend, and you have a friend in the Diamond business. Yes, <laughs> and he would take. He would take. Uh, only cars. people, only the people would in California would understand that joke. Right. Totally. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, isn't that a national company? Tom yeah. Shane. No, it was Tom, Tom Shane, Shane yeah, the Shane yeah. Company. You have a friend in the yeah. diamond business. Well, yeah. my friend David would take the train from Scarborough to New York uh, to go to work, and he worked in the in the diamond district. And sometimes he was carrying maybe a half a million dollars in diamonds on him. So when he would be on the train in the morning, he'd ride with the same people all the time. And when he was in high school, we had a friend that was a security guard in a uh, in a funeral parlor. Yeah. And so David used to go to the funeral parlor and hang out with the guy in the middle of the night. So he learned a, a, enough about the funeral parlor business. And when he's on the train playing cards with those guys, they'd say, "What do you do?" He says, "Well, I'm an undertaker." And, you know, and that would be the last time a question they'd ask him. And the reason <laughs> being. Uh, be, you know, because he's not going to tell him he's got a half a million dollars in diamonds on him. He, he's an undertaker. <laughs> so, Wasn't there a guy? There was a guy know, here in New York who it was a diamond dealer who got killed for for those diamonds. Shlomo Tal, I think, was his name, if I remember correctly. And he that was a big deal. He got they, you know they, they a lot of. Uh, uh, by the way, I just saw this picture with uh, Adam Sandler. Oh, is it any called, good? Alex? Called Uncut oh. Gems. Uh, uh, the picture isn't that great, but he is terrific in this thing. Ratso's in it too, I think. He is. I think he's got a small part, like real quick. I don't know. They got a lot of seedy-looking characters, so maybe Ratso was <laughs> in it. You know. We're talking you about. Know what? I 
liked the cobbler, so but I guess good. it got terrible reviews. What's the cobbler? Is it about an apple pie? What? No, the cobbler. Shoe it's pair. with Adam Sandler, and he is a cobbler. And what happens shoes. is, he, yeah, his dad passes away, so he has this little shop in New York. And so one day, this guy brings in shoes, and I think it was Moe's Depp that was playing the, who was uh, yeah. playing one of the characters. And so the machinist breaks, and you know this guy needs his shoes at a certain time. So he goes down in the basement, and he uncovers this old, old pedal machine and repairs the shoes. And then he thought, well, I'm going to try them on. And when he tried them on, he became the owner of the shoes. Yeah, hmm. I yeah, well, I never heard yeah. of it. I never heard I, of it. I think I do remember that. 2014. But Steve uh, Buscemi's in it. Oh, um, I like mean. Dustin Hoffman has a cameo mm -hmm. in it at the end. I mean, I loved it. So you liked Uncut Gems? That it was good. He was good in it then. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's very good. Very good in it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see that. Yeah. So anyway, so how you doing, Josh? Hello, Josh. Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Wait. I'm a doing. I think your mic's not working. His mic's not oh, working. You are muted. Uh, he's muted. Yeah, says muted. Your mic is muted, Josh. I'm saying you're saying. Click your little one clicker. Okay. Yeah. Uh, un there. Now you're not muted. Can you talk now? He's not. He's not coming through, even though he's unmuted. He's got no volume. Yeah, I don't know. He reminds me of Jean Reno. Oh uh, really? Uh, huh? Who's Who's talking in the background somewhere? Oh, that's Pam and her uh, sisters. Oh, we can't show. Don't them. Don't they know you're doing a show? <laughs> you know, it's you can't control them. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've been having. We lost Josh. Uh, yeah, maybe he's, he might be coming back. Yeah, uh, yeah. To, yeah. I, I um I bought this uh, this uh, USB flash drive yeah. that's also uh, got a lightning uh, end on it, yeah. and I <laughs> and I, I had 40, yeah, I had forty nine hundred <laughs> pictures on my iPhone. I just never deleted anything, and mm -hmm. most of it was work, mm -hmm. and. Um, it, it was getting slower, and I couldn't seem to download anything. So this special uh, special thing, I just downloaded 4,900 pictures to wow. this flash drive, and now there's nothing on the iPhone, and you know we'll see how it easily does it work. That, yeah, now how it works. You know. Yeah. Well, I have. Um, I. I uh, let me see here. There we go. There's Josh. Let's see if he pops. If his picture pops in again. Wait a minute. He's got to uh, uh, click on your picture. Josh, there we go. There he is. Now, now talk to us. What Nothing. is he talking to us? No. Huh. Yeah, but he's not. Uh, I don't hear anything. Uh, it, I wonder if his mic is. Was plugged your power in. cord plugged in? Yeah, try your mic cord to make sure it's plugged mic's in right. Broken. Or is your machine turned on? He's not there anymore. He, he cut out again. Oh boy. Anyway. Where were we? Um, uh, what were we talking about? Oh, we were talking about my flash drive. Oh, your flash oh, drive, yeah. Flash drive. <laughs> I bought an SSD. Um, yeah? Yeah, an SSD that's about this yay big and carries a terabyte of information and is fast as hell. It's not is, is it, uh, how, does, how does it connect? It's just a, a USB port, oh, okay. USB 3. Yeah, and and right now uh, it should be uh, yes. The show is being recorded on it right now. Uh, what kind of NAS is it? Is it a NAS four or NAS six? A what? <laughs> Don't be so nasty. Oh, NAS? No, it's a NAS. NAS is an entirely different thing. Yeah, it's being a smart ass. Cause yeah, oh yeah. my god, yeah. there was such like so many episodes that you guys were talking about that. Oh, I love I love my NAS. I'll tell you why I love my NAS. My, uh, what is I NAS? My I can't knows. remember. What does it stand for? My wife for? loves my NADS. What, what, wait, what does NAS stand for? I can't remember now. Uh, yeah. NADS or NAS? NAS. 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 Um, NAS. NAS. Um, yeah. NAS. Something, yeah, something storage. Anyway. 
Uh, it's a uh, it's a it's an array, and what happens oh, is God, is, what did I start? It, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I'll just say very simply. I put all my shows on there, and they will never get lost. They will never go bad because let's say one of, let's say one of the hard down. drives, one of the four hard drives goes bad, as I've had Net them happen as they Network. do. Network. <laughs> forget it. Forget it. Storage. That, yeah. Anyway, what happens is. Nice <laughs> chase. As I was saying, what happens is. I don't. Is that is that one of my hard drives goes bad? I just pull it out, mm -hmm. put in another hard drive to replace it, and it rebuilds. And while it's rebuilding, still everything runs okay. So I never am going to lose anything on there. If the whole NAS goes out, I mean, I just buy a new NAS and throw those drives in there. It's it's terrific. I have no fear of losing stuff anymore. Well, I, I've got a, a, a thing that's just the uh, Drobo. A bunch of drives. I happen to have all the same drives, and yeah. then I found out the drives I bought were for a NAS. Uh, it was the uh, uh, Western yeah. Digital Reds. Well, now this Don't discussion you wish you is. Could just replace your prostate with a NAS, because then you'd never lose your hard drives. Uh, yeah. <laughs> da 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 da. Uh, yeah. Well, I, there's pills for that. There are pills for <laughs> How's that. How's it working for you, Phil? Uh, <laughs> no interest. It's not. <laughs> well, I, I wonder if Kevin's going to call tonight, because this is his time of the yeah. year to to huh? Oh, no, no, he's not working this year. He's not working this year. No. No. Um, and Tony oh. froze. Yeah. Tony froze. Tony looks like a young. No, Santa Tony Claus didn't freeze. On trimmed up. <laughs> Tony's there. See, it's just. I think Jeff wants to Tony say something. Moved. Yes, Jeff. Yes, Jeff. So today I found out that I get a message that somebody I knew yeah. died. Oh, great! Well, they, they, they yeah. Oh, yeah, but he didn't call you. But you know how people are pretty sad about that and things like that. This guy. <laughs> you were happy? I used to work for him. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I got fired by him. Oh, it's getting good. Karma. <laughs> right? Karma. And so, I don't know, it must have been like five years ago when uh -huh. I moved into this area yeah. here. We had like a, a, a meeting. Mm -hmm. Where to meet new people and things like that. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I say to Pam, I said, I think that's Ray over there. She goes, He's dead. Come on, he's old. How can he be alive? I said, I'm not sure. I said, I think it's him. Son of a gun. So I go over and I walk to the guy and I go, are you Ray? And he goes, yeah. It's the same guy. And I said, I'm Jeff Stein. Do you remember me? He goes, no. I says, you couldn't even remember the guy who you fired? He goes, I never fired anybody. I thought, but, but well, I th yeah, he died? He died yesterday. Uh -huh. Really? And when did yeah. you see him last? When was this time you saw him? Oh, just like five years ago. Oh, five years ago. Okay. Yeah. So he's had time. I never liked the guy anyway. He, he's had time. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> he's had it time took to time die. for the curse to go in place. You know. That's yeah. Right. Five yeah. years. You know. <laughs> yeah. Come, yeah. 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 Throw the salt over the shoulder. Open the window. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the later one's got to take. <laughs> so of course uh, he's ninety-six years old. Oh, he lived a while. That's a long time, ninety-six. But still. Well, let me let me. What? What? Did you ever, Alex? Remember when your boss died? The guy from Strauss. You said you were. I don't know. Did you say you were happy? Our Peter no, Strauss. Remember? No, I wasn't happy when he died. When that kind of a wifey had died. Oh, the wifey. Yeah, that was one of us. Yeah. I remember that story. Yeah. And now, well, and she uh, married uh, a doctor that produced uh, Lewinsky. That no, uh, no, 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 no. Let me. No. Who? In fact, our Peter Strauss. Uh, his wife died, Ellen yeah. Strauss. Who? Oh. They were all. They were all. Attached uh, uh, to society, uh, 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 Peter Strauss, his fa his grand great grandfather or his grandfather, 
uh, died on the Titanic. You know, whenever they do a Titanic movie mm-hmm. and there's this old couple and they decide the husband decides to stay, the wife decides to stay with the husband on the ship. Well, that was Strauss. And the oh, Strausses wow. owned Macy's. Okay. What about, what about okay. Abraham and Strauss? So, so, so that was that was that was the Strauss, Amos. you know, mm-hmm. there. And then she was Ellen Salzberger, whose father owned the New York Times. Uh, and they married each other in what is, I guess, Holly, you know, New York society hoi polloi Power marriage. Couple. Power couple. They, they were Jewish, right? Oh, come on. Yeah. Come on. Well, then there's there's no Jews in society. Strauss and Salzburg, are you kidding me? What are they? What? They're right. Irish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. They, wouldn't, they wouldn't let them into the high society. They're having you know brisket. I mean? You know, but anyway, uh, uh, so, so uh, and, and she was just, here's how terrible she was, okay? Uh-huh. That on Christmas, they never held a Christmas party. They, they, would, they, would, they would have everybody come into their office. And pour them a drink of really bad booze. <laughs> okay? And she said that was their way of taking care of the little people. That's what she referred to oh, us as, the drink, little really. people. I felt, so I felt like I was a fucking elf for crying out loud. Oh, I like the elf. He's in the sleeping in the window. <laughs> so she died. She died, and he... <laughs> right. Elf on the shelf. <laughs> yeah. He uh, 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 married a woman, and uh, the woman was Monica Lewinsky's mother. So he he became Monica Lewinsky's stepfather. Uh, And uh, so that's, you know, yeah. And from what I understand, he was a really nice guy. Strauss, he was okay. Peter was okay. He He was a nebbish, you know. He was kind of, his wife was like, you know, Beat me, you know, bossing him around. She she called all the shots, right? Uh, and he was kind of like a namby pamby kind of guy, he, you know. But I liked him. I never disliked Peter. Um, what did the R stand for? Uh, nobody knows. <laughs> Whenever anybody uses a, a, a has a name with a first name an, as an initial, you know yeah. they don't want anybody to know what that name is. <laughs> you know, something like Rupert. Rasmussen. Yeah. Uh, Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> Rumpelstiltskin. Yeah, you say the name and... They, I mean... The, the, or, the, G. Was, Gordon Liddy. G. Gordon yeah. Liddy. There's That's, another yeah, one right, for right. you. It's uh, like it sounds... Uh, yeah. uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, he, he was... He was... Yeah, he was I, 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 I liked Pete. Peter was okay. Although, uh, Peter... Fired me, okay. Oh. In what was a very famous firing for that radio station, a thousand people showed up in front of the radio station to protest it. Nice. Uh, nothing that I encouraged, uh, and so he fired me because it was all because of the New York Yankees. Fuck the New York Yankees. Uh, it was it was all because of the New York Yankees because they t- were taking on Yankees baseball. And I wasn't going to be on for half the year because it was at night. Okay. So uh, he, he fired me for that reason. He didn't I guess. make Terrell Matheny fire you? Uh, no. Also, he, well, maybe, maybe, no, Terrell wasn't the program director at that time, I don't think. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Well, yeah, he was there. He, he was there before, as Shut it went. Me, I can't off. remember who fired me, but basically what happened was all these protests took place. And then I get a call. Uh, this is Peter's secretary. Peter would like you to come in and see him. Oh. And I'm thinking, oh, the protests worked. Okay, the protests wow. worked. So I uh, I uh, uh, go down to the station and I walk into Peter's office and I sit down in the chair and to show you what a namby pamby was, he couldn't look me straight in the face. He kept oh. looking out the window. One of those kind of guys, right? Oh, shit. Yeah. And he said, uh, uh, I just wanted to, he says, you probably wonder why I asked you down here. And I said, yeah, I did. He said, I just want to say, hope there are no hard feelings. Oh, jeez. Oh, I, I said, <laughs> you called me in for that when my expectation is that you're going to hire me back 
and you say no hard feelings, you just made them worse. Yeah, yeah. that's a perfect. And I got them walked out, you know. It's just business. Wait, we're doing business. Did you go from there to PLJ? Yeah. Uh-huh. It wasn't so bad. No, it wasn't so bad. I was there for, what, five years, something like that. I got a, I, excuse me, I have a thing, I'm not, I'm, I have a hair in my nose, and it's, it's <laughs> You mean one of those things that cut the hairs. Hey, did you get my uh, text, or my message about the nose hair trimmer? No. By Rocco? No, you were talking about nose hair trimmers or something one day. They don't work. It, but they do. I have this really good nose hair trimmer. It worked awesome when I first got it. And then it sucked. When I first got it. I got a scissor. And it's got two blunt ends. I ended up getting the the spray that you're supposed to use for clippers and nose hair trimmers and all that kind of stuff. I use that regularly to clean it. It works awesome. It's just you have to clean it with the right spray. It's like almost like is, 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 every time I buy one, there's these little wimpy things. You put it in your nose and go, and, and then and and they nothing pull happens. On the thing. What? Oh, they pull on if they grab the hair, they pull on it too. You know, so if, you know, I'd rather just cut it with a little pair of scissors that have uh, the little nubs on the end. Well, and, and that was a that was a little trick I had when a, when a girlfriend would break up with me and I, I wanted her to feel that I was emotional about it. I would. Simply pull a hair out of my nose and start tearing my I'm eye. Up, you know. I used to tell that. To oh, the I'm kids gonna miss you. you know and they try and do a fake cry, and I'd say, "Hey, pull a nose hair; it'll make your eyes water." Exactly. And they would do it, and they'd exactly. be like, "Oh, yeah." I go, "Yeah, use that with your parents." That was a perfect sound effect, Alex. What sound effect? <laughs> Boink. Well, remember in Europe in Ibiza. I'm laying on the beach, and all of a sudden you're going, cat, 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 look, look, look. Oh, oh, this is great. Yeah. And there's this lady tweezing her crotch. Oh, my God. Actually, I have that video, and it's online, and people can go online to YouTube. Look for Ibiza, Ibiza, I think, now and then. to get back to the hotel. Now and then, and I've got the shot of her (laughs) sitting there, look over there, and I've got a shot of this woman tweezing. Her pubic oh. hairs. Oh. Now they call it a Brazilian. And then the guy she's with has got to be 90, and he's like uh-huh. next to her in the lounge chair, and we are dying laughing. Yeah, but it's like ding, ding. You yep. Know, I, I, well, here, here comes, here comes uh, 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 Josh again. Let's see. Let's see what happens to Josh. Josh, can, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Josh, take it. Uh, well, I had to uh, update Skype and restart. It wouldn't do anything until I did that. Really? Wow. Wow. Yeah. In my Skype, Tony's frozen. I've got frozen Tony. Uh, oh, well, it's Tony on a stick. <laughs> you know? Bye, sounds uh, sounds yeah. like it's working now, though, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, we haven't really asked you, uh, um, uh, because I don't know if you've been on since it happened, but how you feel about yeah. the impeachment. Are you happy? Are you sad? Are you... Uh, uh, indifferent? I'm not, I'm not sad, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not happy that we have to do this. I mean, I know everyone says that, you know, maybe, you know, Democrats are saying that disingenuously and they're actually really happy. I mean, I don't really believe that. Yeah. I mean... I'm I'm not happy that we would have to impeach and or remove a president from office because, you know, that indicates, uh, you know, uh, yeah, subversive acts. I mean, you know, something, yeah. some wrongdoing. So I don't think anyone wants to do it, but I, I think it's fairly necessary. I mean, do you think that uh, the uh, articles uh, that w- were given uh, rose to the level of impeachment? Yeah. yeah, I think his conduct has risen to that level. I've thought that for quite some time. No, I mean on those particular. He articles. just said yes, Phil. No, he says yeah, he's I mean, rose to it for some time. If lying under oath is big enough to get you impeached, then trying to get a foreign government to interfere in elections, I think that that that's a big enough of a reason I, to. Well, well, there's also there's it also the, the, there's the other the other thing of impeding Congress by not allowing people to uh, appear. But at the same time, I, I kind of have a hard time at that because isn't that the, the presidential executive privilege? 
and right to not uh, incriminate. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, executive privilege. Yeah. No, not really, because privilege does not protect you from testifying. Privilege would protect you from answering certain questions. It doesn't mean that you have the right absolutely to not show up. I mean, did, you know, Obama did the same thing, didn't he? And then, yeah, well, in a few cases, yes, and I didn't and agree Bush with him. So, before that. Yeah, but so. If, if you don't agree with it, why don't you just go to court and and uh, have the judicial make a decision as to whether or not he needs to testify? Or, because or, by the time this gets ruled by the courts, it's going to be like 2023. Well, that's the way and, it goes. You mean the court? No, that... that's not the way it goes because there is a secondary option available, and they're using it. And and besides that, if they have enough, you know, available evidence to proceed with their case for impeachment without these other items, uh, you know, those are nice to haves but not necessary. Why do you so if feel things develop in the meantime? It's, so be see, it. If not. Phil, I kind of agreed with you at originally. You know why not? Because that that was the old process. Is you'd go through the yeah. judicial system and you have them rule on it, and then you'd right. go from there. But at the same time, we're talking about interfering with elections. By the time that you get yeah. through that process, the election's already yeah. going to be over yeah. with, and he could have but already if, interfered with it. You know, th this one was so partisan. Why was it all it, yeah, you know, Republicans why, why and was only so, and three? Why was it so partisan, Phil? That's a bunch of bullshit. You get a president who's trying to get a foreign country to interfere with our elections. That well, should he not says be he did. partisan. He, he, he said he did. He asked no, he him. He said to, he was just investigating he asked corruption. asked him to investigate uh, freaking uh, Biden. He did it more than once. Biden's son and Burisma. But why? Why <laughs> would you investigate Biden's son in Burisma? He wanted to Two know. Two people got sunk in the Ukraine, huh, Bill? You, tell oh, uh, you know, you you wrote uh, something about that. I didn't that. write it. Oh, uh, but uh, I didn't see anything on it. I uh, you I just mean, wrote something that said two that, that's people the whole thing with, with wound Biden, up drowned with witnesses. Biden getting that other guy fired, the prosecutor fired. Wasn't that all before his son ever even worked for that company? And uh, then they no. they keep on making. Uh, look at the time. Went, thing. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure it was before his son ever had any involvement in with Burisma. Yeah, but and Burisma they keep on hired playing the same part. Who cares? The, what does that have to do with anything? What is Trump's kids doing right now? Yeah, they're working for Trump's company. Exactly. Yes, and doing business in China and everything Trump else. Name. Yes, Phil. I mean, come on. They shouldn't be doing business using the president's name to, to, to give That's them cachet. That's their name, too, you know. No, but to give them cachet. He didn't well, disinvest is, from himself. Hunter's name, too? Well, uh, well, Hunter took a position that he wasn't qualified for, that he even admitted that he wouldn't have hey, died listen, if he well, wasn't the listen, son of the, the vice the president. Tr Trump's kids have taken positions. They well, not, yeah, uh, they're not really qualified. Yeah. yeah. Well, shit. Mm -hmm. Even I, I think even from the very beginning when they talked about Trump Jr. having a meeting with Russians because he thought that it was going to be for dirt on Hillary, right there, to me, that was enough. No, it wasn't yeah. it about adoptions? It, it ended well, up turning shit. out to be. That's, that. that's why he called the meeting to adjourn because it wasn't about getting dirt on Hillary. It was about adoptions. No, no, that, it was supposed to be on no, options. No, no, no. It was supposed to be about getting dirt on Hillary. He admitted it himself and said it right in an interview. Uh, I don't know. It's, uh, I can't believe anything I hear in the news. You well, can't believe yeah, it's but you'll believe better. everything Even Trump says. You believe everything power. Trump says. Uh, uh, <laughs> a, oh, yeah, I believe a that. A serial liar. A guy who can't tell the truth. Liar, liar. Let, let, let Charlie yeah. talk. Let Charlie talk. Yes, right. Charlie. What? Charlie likes yeah, well, no, Trump. Trump just passed the 15,000 mark and in, in, in documented lies since he took office. But He's the consistent. thing that, that I, I don't understand <laughs> is how people... <laughs> consistent. I don't understand how people can, can look at this and say, everybody who says Trump did it will testify to that under oath. Everybody who says Trump didn't do it refuses to testify well, here, under oath. Here's my well, question. Let me ask Phil one basic question. If Trump 
didn't do anything, why does he mind his people talking to Congress? Good point. Uh, because he thinks it's a shit show. No, and, no, and no, 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 no. Phil, mean, Phil, Phil that's, 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 that's an excuse because you did something wrong and you don't no, want people no, to talk. No, 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 no. When you're you guilty, that's what you say. You're, you're just, An innocent man you talks. can't be guilty because you don't want to participate in something that's a sham. You know, just because, you know, he's just saying, Phil, look, this Phil, is a sham. Phil, Phil, it, 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 nobody says it. he has to participate, but when people have been subpoenaed, they should go, and he shouldn't mind them going because what can they reveal but anything but what is the wonderful truth well, he that he didn't do anything? He doesn't think he's getting a fair shake by the uh, Democratic Congress. Well, that's because so he doesn't— see what happens if the Congress ever moves the uh, impeachment o over to the Senate. Let's, you know, then there'll be a hearing. They'll call witnesses, and you know, most likely, let's see if you'll. Many of Trump's people testified to the Senate under oath. Yeah, well, we'll see, and let's see Adam Schiff uh, testify to the Senate under oath. You know, the guy who had absolute proof that there was Russian collusion. All right, for two and a half years, they've had a false scenario. You forget about that. You got a selective memory there, Charlie. Nobody it, said that there wasn't. False. You keep saying it's false. Like, nobody's ever proven it's anything. It's a lie. Oh, we have 17 different. Uh, you had the Will, 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 you, will you please let Charlie oh, talk? Thank you. Charlie doesn't talk. He yells. It was the Mueller it? report. No, you they let were... Charlie talk. All right. Hey, go yeah. ahead, Charlie. I mean, I said what I said. The, the fact that these people, if you're innocent and people know you're innocent, you have no problem with them going and testifying to your innocence yeah. under oath. It's only when you're guilty and they have to worry about perjury no. charges no, that you say, no, I won't Charlie, testify under oath. When you testify to these kinds of people, they try to find one word, one one little item that they can uh, trip you up on and, yeah. and turn well, it into worry, a Well, don't worry, don't worry. He will have his time in the Senate where all these people are just, it's just rigged in that case, okay, and then we can yell the same thing. There, there he goes. There goes the roach. I'm calling. I'm calling your kid the roach from here on in. You turn on the light and he's gone. No way they're going to convict Trump. They haven't heard a single word of testimony, and they they are supposed to be impartial jurors. Here, dude. They've heard the testimony in the Congress, and they realize that it's no Phil. Phil, they are not. If I had somebody on a jury, and I was vetting the jury. I would ask them if they have any preconceived notion about the trial. And if they said but they this did This isn't a trial, this is a political process. Yes, but it's but what's going to go but what's that going The Constitution calls it a trial. Read, yeah. they read the Constitution. Yeah, it is a trial. It's called a trial. Uh so Holly, do you take high blood pressure meds? <laughs> Unfortunately, not enough. <laughs> no, but but Phil, uh, with your personality, you should be passing them out. <laughs> I, I take them. By the way, I, this is funny. Today, I'm going to my doctor, and it is uh, it's like 18 degrees outside, and I'm looking for a cab, and I cannot find one to save my life. It's like 20 minutes I haven't found a cab. And That's then I got into a bit. Then I got into a. Got to learn how to use Uber. I got, yeah, sure. I'll spend eight hundred dollars to get across town. Anyway, let me finish. Let me finish. So I, I, I even got into a big fight with a guy. He says, "Well, I was here first. And I said, I've been standing out here for twenty five minutes, you fucker." You know, but he gets in the cab. He goes. So finally, I, you know, I get a cab, but I have just so tense from all of this and i wind up at the doctor's office and then the woman says well it's time to take your blood pressure i said <laughs> i said this isn't going to be good at all because of what i went through trying to get here today and she says well let's see and she does the thing 110 over 70 Wow! Well, <laughs> I wake up in the morning and I'm it, 150 over 78. It's 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 it was the best blood pressure I've ever had at the doctor's office. You know, you know how to be an actor. Why don't you get a cane and and stuff like that and go? You know, pull the 80 year old sympathy route. You know, I stand there with the cab and shake the cane. I should have yelled at this guy. I've got cancer. <laughs> Dog cancer. Yeah, but I got the cab. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
But I mean, there's a Republican for you. Oh, I'm telling you. I mean, no, you you can't find cabs anymore in this neighborhood for some reason. They just very bad. It's very bad. It's terrible. He used to say he couldn't find cabs in Harlem because they didn't want to go up there because of the crime. Right, but then there were a lot of the there were a lot of what we called the black cars, the TLC yeah. cars, and you'd just wave them down and you make a deal. How much to take me to such and such a place? And they'd say, how much do you normally pay? And you'd tell them and you'd bargain and then you'd go where are you going. But now all those people are green cabs, okay? So now they've got the attitude that they're yellow cabs and they do the same thing. They don't pick you up, you know. They guys, what bothers me is when I get a cab and I, I, I'm about to go to the door and he goes, no, 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 can't take you because there's somebody in here. And I said, then why is your fucking light on? You know, oh, you know why? Because he's not declaring. The he's fare. doing it off the meter. Yeah, he's doing it off the yeah. meter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Mm. So that that was my day. Yeah, and, and you got to look to make sure that they don't deflate their tires because the meter will. Oh, uh, you're right. It'll cost you more if they lower the air pressure in their tires. Hey, Charlie. Oh, do you, Charlie, do you know? You in, get home for an hour, right? Four hours. Do you know that in New Charlie, York? Charlie, are you sitting wow. there going, "Eh, wah, You had a hard time getting a cab. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Alex was yeah. saying something. No, I was saying that they they actually have people at the at the taxi and limousine commission who do check tire levels. Really? Yeah, for that reason. Yeah, if 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 your tires have less air in them, they've been known to be able to you know cause problems that way. So, yeah. what have you? Yeah, I was hoping we'd see him from Kevin tonight. That we see him playing his uh, his Santa card, but I guess not. <laughs> He's out looking for reindeer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, my, my nose is itching. I need one of those things, and I try go in here and get, I, I tried to pull it. But Got tweezers? How you? Do you have this kind of nose hair trimmer? What is that? Is that it? That looks like a dildo. Nose hair trimmer. Now that looks like that it works. Painful. It works great, except for you have to use the. You know, a moist or uh, cleaner. How much hey, nose hey, hair do you have? No, what's that called? What's what's the brand? What is that? Who makes the, it? The, no, not that. The cleaner is just Cool Care. Yeah, but what? And D S. Look like a Norelco. A N D I S. No, but what? Know about the shaver. The shaver. Yeah, it's a Norelco. It's Norelco. Norelco uh, nose. It's trimmer. Phillips Norelco. It's great because it, series thirty three thousand. Yeah, you know, I it was think just it's Spanish. It's the nariz oh, here, wait a minute, hold on a second, everybody, everybody, stand by. I think there we go. Wait a minute, hold on a second. I got, I got, I got, I got to put them on my uh, thing here. Hold on a second. Wait a minute, Drunk Santa. Hold on a second. I got to. Wait a minute. We can't see you yet, Santa. We can't. For all the little kids out there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Santa's Santa, taking shots. It's in Santa the Claus. Hello, Santa. Y'all need to lighten up, damn it. Uh, okay. Hey, you, hey, did you have a medical procedure today? Is that why you're uh, uh, here, dude, toasting yourself? Huh? Oh, yeah, they, they measured my ankle today. Did they really? Oh, hey. uh, okay. Yeah, it's another two degrees west. Wait a minute. This, if there are any little kids listening, this isn't what they don't want to hear from Santa. Oh, there goes. Okay, there goes all your little kids go home. Yeah. Uh, Santa's uh, drunk again. Yeah. If any kids <laughs> want to call up and talk to drunk Santa, you've only got about you no know, twenty minutes. This is good tequila. This is fifty-one fifty made by Kid Rock. Oh <laughs> really? <It's not> tequila. <laughs> uh, you know, fifty-one fifty in the Probably. welfare, welfare Probably and interest. Kids. The Welfare and Institutions Code 5150 uh, is for a 72-hour committal. That's yeah. right. Yeah. But it yeah. sure does keep you warm. What, what, what are you, what, what are you, t you doing with your phone? Look at mine. Look, See Nothing? my new phone? My new phone? See that? See that? What do you got? I got... Uh, it's, uh, we should got, have Santa for got, present. I got, hey, so, Schmooty, your kid is half Mexican, I right? got. It's got three yeah, little cameras, speech. and you know what it reminds Tell me of? Tell him to look what he has four to look in, into when he's an adult. Look at this. See this? You see the uh, the three <laughs> the three uh, cameras there? It reminds yeah. me of the uh, the uh, 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 the, uh, the War of the Worlds. And the, it had, like, you know, three little lenses there. 
Oh. Oh, that was yeah. funny. The things that they were doing, showing the phone, like they were trying to shave with it because of the three cameras. Oh, yeah, like right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> isn't that Technicolor? Huh? Uh, when you have the three heads, what, what was that called? The three uh, the three Medusa? cameras. Uh, no, no, no. Four. Uh, that's eight heads. Uh, the, well, the Technicolor used to shoot on three different films at yes, one time right, years exactly. ago. Yeah. Yeah. So you got a Technicolor iPhone. Mm. Not really. Have you tried shooting pictures in the dark? Not yet. It said like supposedly you're supposed to be able to get really good, you know, night shots and everything really? of the sky. Oh, and... oh. Okay, well, I haven't tried that. That's, I bought it That's for the camera. Thousand. I, you know, I bought it for the. Do you camera. have access to your roof? Uh, yeah, but I don't like to go up there. It scares me. Well, you should go up there yeah. and try to take some pictures. I mean, that's a I think very you could also route. shoot in uh, camera raw with uh, that camera, and then you could uh, edit the stuff better. No, put some Alexa, clothes on. Don't shoot in the raw. It also it also <laughs> overshoots. So if you want to recrop it later, you can. Oh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, Santa, uh, um, um, are there, uh, do you have your naughty or nice list there at all? Uh, well, I've been listening to the show. I think I think there's some things that I've been picking up for list there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, oh, shit, I just dumped my tequila on my tax bill. Oh, shit. Oh. Hey, kids, oh. if you're listening, <laughs> if you're listening, Santa like can only okay. use the shit It'll word. It'll smell good when they get it. Yes. By the way, Kathleen, does your son still believe in Santa? Hell no. <laughs> oh, he, anyway. hates, he hates Christmas. We have a menorah on the on the mantle he's all excited for um hanukkah okay. hey just just remember because you you seem to compare christmas with uh, christianity christmas is actually a pagan holiday totally pagan i mean come on like santa claus had eight reindeer included or excluding rudolph but so did the pagan god odin he had a yeah. eight legged horse that he rode and and the just, and the jews have eight days of hanukkah yeah yeah, eight days. But anyway, days so uh, hold on, Santa's well, got. We, some... we already know that Alex needs a nose trimmer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He yeah. does. And 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 Jason needs a naz. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Jason needs a football team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not Jason. I mean, Josh needs a football team. No, Jason does too, because the oh, Titans suck. Too, yeah, so I guess both of you need football team. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, uh, Cat needs to sit on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> my wife's not home yet either. Come on down. Have another I'm on my way to Santa Cruz, folks. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't gotten any further on the list yet. Oh, really? Uh, Phil have a job to help me out. Phil <laughs> needs a heart or brain, one of the two. Phil needs a life. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a while. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, uh, 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 nothing for me? Yeah, you're, you, you need a new trimmer. prostate. What? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, prostate. Yeah. I, I I'm the one that doesn't I have can't a do prostate. body parts. Yeah, well, no, but my my prostate's fine. It just has cancer in it. That's all. It still works. Yeah. yeah I can't take shit like that in my bag. I need to be honest. That the guy Brian it'll, that used to call the leak. show. He he can transport those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's uh, Brian's job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, this is something that that we we only uh, do at the end of the year. Uh, yeah, what's this been? Three or four? What? Five or six. Can't remember. You have to look back and oh, see how many years. This now. this is where this is a, probably our sixth uh, year. Yeah, something like that. We're coming up on our sixth year in April. Yeah. yeah. And I don't I have like this Santa because he has a Harley. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. The, the, you know, you got to admit. He does make the best Santa, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. Yeah. He can make some money off of this thing. What do you mean? That's what he Wait. used to do this time of the year. But Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Up until last year, yeah, with the surgery. I didn't do it last year or this year. Yeah. So See. the kids said uh, when they put the doll in front of him, where did he touch you? <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so, uh, okay. but you know, it's, Tony, he doesn't have that outfit just because it's warm. It's that time of the year for these. The, they can touch me. I can't touch them. It's that yeah. time of the year for the stupidest pastime, which is, of course, what's your resolution oh, for true. this year? So I'll yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. start. I'll start with Josh. Josh, what's your res resolution for this year? I don't have any of that kind of stuff. Oh, you're no, you. you're no you're fun. No fun. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let me. Mark, you only break them within about three days, anyway. Yeah, right. How about you, Charlie? What's your what? Do you, you have any resolutions? I don't make New Year's resolutions. I never have. Yeah. 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 Uh, let me see here. Oh, hold on a second. Let me just uh, turn down the sound yeah. a little bit. There. I'm trying to stop the. There's a echo. There's a, kind of a slap. Uh, how about yeah. Phil? Phil. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. second. Hold on a second. I, I, I'm trying to kill the, the slap back. It's lighting up too when it's echoing. Yeah. 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 I don't. I don't know where that's coming oh, from. Uh, I, 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 uh, oh, uh, world peace. Oh, uh, world. <laughs> world peace. Yeah. How about you, uh, Tony? Yeah. How about you? Oh me. Oh me. Uh. What is this? I don't know. I mean, keep my mother alive. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They keep you having a job. Let me see here. Why? Are, why? Are, what is the? Uh, what is that all about? So hopefully it's a it's a peaceful twelve months. Yeah. yeah. I don't. Maybe somebody has. I don't, so. no, I don't know that don't, anybody has their speaker has, up. Anybody have their speaker? Anybody? Up? Boy, they, no. that's weird. Well, I put they, myself on mute. I'm a fine. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, Jeff. Uh, wait, uh, Jeff. Well. Well. No. Oh. It's coming from Phil. Everybody I told else. You he was lighting up. Yeah. yeah it's Phil. That. You're yeah, the, Phil you're, muted himself. He's throwing a light. He's yeah. getting interference from Russia, Phil. He's going to do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, now, Phil, uh, uh, unmute yourself. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Now it's okay. okay. On, now it's I'm okay. Not muted. Now it's okay. okay. That that solved it. But you were the yeah, culprit. You were the culprit. How about Absolutely. you, Kathleen? Any any? Nobody oh. seems to have any. Resolutions. How about you, Kathleen? Yeah, no, I guess I'd not. have a shot with Santa and ride on the back of his Harley. That's about it. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, yes, Jeff. Do you have a resolution? I think I think I'm uh, always looking forward that everybody here is uh, in good, healthy. For yes. The year. Well, that's yeah. very nice. That's a nice. That's a nice New Year's wish. You know. Yeah, but everybody that comes on this show gets cancer. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it's okay if you have cancer. Yeah, you, uh, get rid of it. That's the important thing. Yeah. I think I think probably me. I'm I, I pray for world peace and Donald Trump's horrible death. How's that? How would I, you like him to go, Alex? Uh, as it. painfully as possible. Really? Yeah, being strangled by Rudy's prostate. Oh. Run over by a golf cart. Yeah, yeah. No, I, think people I don't wish. I don't wish death on him. You know, I, I, you know, I do. I do wish he would get his comeuppance. That that something uh, enough will happen that will come out about him that he can't escape from it. You know. Uh, and, Listen, when he dies. Yeah. Believe you me. All his comeuppance will happen and it'll be all bad well i mean you know i want uh i want him to live and the reason i want him to live is because if he dies then we got that guy pence and that's easy you think trump's a problem you know yeah but he's not gonna survive very long who you know what i'm looking forward to every what? election night dies. show when we go on yeah like that week before the election. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's, I think I, I wonder how you think it's going to be a tense time before the election, like with people. Oh, this is going to be it's going to be an ugly year. Yeah, it's going to be a very ugly year. Yes, uh, Jason. So, I didn't hear you talking about it at all, and I forgot about it too. Did you remember that there was a Democratic debate the other day? <laughs> Yes, I mean, there's been so many of them. And it's just like, why the hell you guys got so many of them going? I didn't even pay attention to it at all. Um, it was so good that Andrew Yang did well. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, they didn't have a lot. Of did he do well because he promised you money? They didn't have a lot. That's okay too. Of, they didn't have a lot of people on this one. 
You know? Seven, I think. S- seven yeah. or eight. Yeah. Uh, how did how did uh, what's his name the billionaire get on that one? Te- uh, Aspire Squires. Uh, Spire, Ted- uh, Steyer, 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 I guess. Steyer, Steyer. Steyer. Yeah. I how guess. did he wind up on that one? He probably paid enough people to donate. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Well, like you got to have more than just donations. You got uh, and it's got to be individual donations. Plus, yeah. you got to be somewhere in the polls. Well, I don't. You know, it it kind of yeah. pissed me off that uh, Tulsi. She ended up voting uh, absentee for the or present. No, I'm sorry, present. for the for the impeachment she, thing. She showed me that she has uh, <clears throat> a, 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 not only a conscience, oh, but oh, uh, oh, she oh, has, yeah. um, you know, uh, she she's a, a, a thoughtful person who does the right she's thing. She's owned by the Russians too. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so is Alex. No. Oh, okay. The Chinese. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the Chinese. you know, I, I just, uh, I just, uh, I, I don't look forward to this year because I think it's going to be very ugly. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm almost starting to think it, it you know, I know uh, Buttigieg has actually been doing pretty good lately, but I, I think it's, it, it needs to be Elizabeth Warren. He's a flash in well, the pan. But, and Elizabeth, did you hear Elizabeth Warren's answer for the, uh, you know, about uh, you're going to raise taxes or is it, you know, uh, you know, uh, people going to pay more? And she says, uh, well, you, you, she gave like a nothing answer. It was uh, my that's answer. Why I wish she would just stay straight up say, yes, you're going to pay more in taxes. Yeah. But what you well, were you paying pay for less health insurance in before is going to be less. Oh, and, you know, you something about the two cents. You don't have deductibles. But yeah, that's you know, what Bernie. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, 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 yeah. What, what's this two cents stuff that she's pushing? That that she's going to yeah. take two cents from uh, the billionaires and oligarchs and so yeah, forth. After fifty million dollars, uh, two cents. Two cents now, per dollar. And per say dollar. that's two yeah. percent. She doesn't say two yep. percent. She says two cents. They can just use two, two cents. cents. On the dollar. Yeah. yeah. And so what but is Phil, there? Phil, 300, that 300 billionaires. Phil, that uh, doesn't affect you at all. Wouldn't you rather nope. that people with more money than you pay their share I only share have, taxes than you? I only have the two cents, and sometimes no. I don't have that. Jeff, <laughs> turn on your camera. Your camera's off. It might be on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I say maybe his wife is in the background. Then we'll have the two flashers on the show at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that was funny. You know, I mean, I, I just, um, uh, I, I just think it's it. We've turned into a very ugly country, and I, I don't think we are the, you know, the best we can be, you know. Uh, and uh, we're, we're, yeah. Well, Trump's we're, out there fomenting violence. Yeah. Yeah. Only against people on GabNet. Yeah, you know, and then what do you guys think? I you know. Sensation. It was in Michigan that it happened that he was talking about uh, Dingle. You know, well, maybe he's looking up. Did that make yeah, national news or no? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, did. yeah it did. He was joking. Oh, he, he's that, trying that's... to be a comedian. You're not, you don't joke about a man's death. Joke. Okay, hey, Phil. Especially if you're the president of the United help. States. That's not what presidents do. It's you know, tragedy and time, Phil. I know that time. How, how long ago did Dingle's, wasn't he 90? Yes, uh, but what, was that, that, what does that matter? I mean, his wife was, was her, his, his wife was very bothered by the comment. You know, she was hurt by it. How do you feel about the fact that he hurts people? And he's sitting there saying that how she called and thanked him yeah. for lowering the flags to half staff, and you know, and then oh well, maybe now he's looking up. You know, it, it's. That is, yeah, that's guys just so jam sensitive, stupid. Phil, no it's sensitive. it's like Jason said. Comedy is time uh, is t- is is tragedy, tragedy time. plus time, and right. not enough time has passed for him to be funny. And secondly, he ain't no fucking comedian. Well, and, you know, he's dumb. got that, pretty big not, crowds. That's not presidential. No, it's not presidential. But he's not presidential. That's his thing. They, he didn't get well. What, what we want, we want. But I would, I would mean, like, a, I would like a president, and so therefore, that's why I'm nominating Kathleen because I think she can do better than any of the people who are yeah. running right now. Okay. Uh, There'll yeah. be a Harley in everybody's garage. A gopher <laughs> could do better than everybody on that uh, Democratic platform. Well, I hear the evangelists are all pissed off at him now too. Yeah. Huh? 
Jesus no, Jesus. not all of them. Uh, just the guy who writes that. Uh, no, all the Christian. basically the editorial staff of that magazine. Yeah. Made took that position, Phil. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Christian Monday. So, and there was uh, only one person there who was for Trump. Okay, so yeah. you you got it all wrong, Phil. And and he's dead now. You know, but you know what it is though. Like you were saying with the guy who died, Dingo. I wonder if he's looking World, up. It's a World War II veteran that served his country. If you think, and he's just making fun of him because the wife voted for the impeachment. This guy I, had nothing to do with anything. I thought he was a Revolutionary War veteran. Stop. You know what it is? Anybody who who opposes his view, that's his true self. Yeah. He, he, he don't he, not, he don't like people that challenge him. But yeah. this guy's not but making a joke on a dead man who had nothing to do with anything. He should be kissing his ass. He served WW two. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I mean, come right. on. Yeah. So that's dis well, that's he, just, he he got uh, blowback from uh, a lot of Republicans. By the way, this is the ex Graham. a good example of peace on earth or er, peace on earth, goodwill towards men. Peace on earth. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, Trump got a lot of blowback. You know, a lot of people that you know support him said that they didn't like what he did. Yeah. So, you know. But here's the question I pose. Is, is, I think your worst fears, like you said of Alex, on oh, Trump look, acting like look, Roy Cohn. Look, look at I think he yeah. really is just a miserable motherfucker, really. Yeah. Look, look at look at Kathleen's pussy. I mean, am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I now know, you I gotta think, become I think a he's just such a big guy. And you know, and you know, when I was a big star in San Francisco, mm -hmm. I I could touch her pussy, and mm -hmm. not get in trouble for it. Oh, man. Uh, Trump. Look at that. Look at that. She's mm. like my kitty. How old is she, by the way, Kathleen? My cat? Yeah. Nine. Mm. <laughs> oh. That didn't Rob sound right. Too. That's some old pussy. That did not sound right. <laughs> Do you have one of those uh, glass cocktail tables? Oh, look at that. Oh, wait a minute. There's more pussy. Yeah, Jason's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> my pussy's a little older. She's like... 13. Uh, hold her up a little bit. Let's see her. That's an antique pussy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh nice. Tortoise What's shell. the name of the cats? Imagine yeah. it's Morris. Morris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've got two pussies. Yeah, from the commercial. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you're all pussies. Well, <laughs> you know, I, li I like that. We got Santa and two pussies. That's wonderful. Hmm. That's good. Well, you know, it, uh, um, it's that time of year, and I just got to wish you all a very uh, Merry uh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. and, and thank you all for your participation this year. You've kept GabNet alive with your, uh, with your comments and your feelings about things, and it's nice to see that I, I've met up with Kathleen again uh, through this now, and she's become a regular and uh, a funny regular, I might add. And that all of you have been just... Uh, uh, terrific. Uh, and uh, Jason, I want to thank you. You've always been there with uh, with uh, uh, wise words of what's going on. Uh, Charlie, your 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 dogged pursuit of truth always uh, I admire. Uh, 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 Phil, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> and the horse you rode. And the horse you rode. You know. <laughs> Black employ unemployment hasn't been so low since oh, the time of slavery. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yeah, they're and working Jewish unemployment jobs. hasn't been so low since the time of the Egyptians. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and of course, Tony, thank you. Thank you. Uh, 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 person with his pussy, Jason. Uh, uh, Kathleen, thank you so much. Oh, wait a minute. i got to start playing a theme here. Jeff. Thank you. You've been terrific. Uh, you know, it's it's great having you on the show, and we love having you here. And you've become a good friend over the last year too, as well. Uh, and of course, uh, Santa Claus, better known as Kevin, better known as Hog Rider. Uh, oh, gee, <laughs> yeah, you're terrific. Everybody. Santa would stand up, but he doesn't have any pants on, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and he's had a little too much to kill. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Thank you all very much. Everybody, give a big last of the year goodbye, okay? And I will wave as well. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for, for this year, okay? 
we're taking the next couple of weeks off here so that we can uh, uh, have a long winter's nap. We'll be back on January 2nd with GabNet. Uh, we will be playing stuff in the meantime, so you can listen to that stuff. Uh, uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the uh, intersection. And uh, then, uh, as I say, we'll be back uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time on January the 2nd. In the meantime, as always, have a happy New Year and a Merry Christmas and a happy Kwanzaa and a happy Hanukkah. And uh, if you see her, yeah, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. See you later.